Welcome to the School of Money with Olumide Emmanuel. Hello, how there? You're welcome once again to the School of Money. I'm Olumide Emmanuel, your common sense guru. This broadcast is aimed at teaching you wealth creation principles, revealing to you the pathway that leads to wealth, and connecting you with money making opportunity. It's our desire through this broadcast to bring you to a level where you will be able to know how to make, manage, and multiply your money and also become an exceptional entrepreneur. Now, one thing I've always said every time we come on this broadcast is the need for you to spread the word. Why? It's not okay for just you and you alone to be listening to this broadcast because it has the potential to bless everyone around you. So I want you to please do me a favor right now. Spread the word around. Send out a tweet. Send out a BB. Send out a WhatsApp message. And let people know that the Common Sense Guru is on air and is going to be sharing something very amazing. And you also need to get yourself ready for a time of your life. Well, I don't know if you have a copy of this book. It's called The School of Money. The School of Money. This is the manual and the textbook for this school. This is school on earth. It's called the School of Money, and we're bringing school right to your home. So I want you to make sure you get a copy of this book. If you do not already have, you need to get a copy. It will help you a lot. It's a hardcover book. It's a library case edition. It's got a CD and a DVD in there. It's almost 700 pages. It will teach you a lot on how to make money and multiply your money and also how to be an exceptional entrepreneur. Now listen. Visit our website, www.olumideemmanuel.org or www.commonsensegroup.com and get the book. We have loads of books, materials, uh, audio programs that will help you in the area of finance, relationship, and leadership. I tell you, many people are getting extremely transformed through the information that our platform is offering them. Now, you need to get a pen. You need to get a paper and get ready to take note. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you on the 10 mindsets of the rich. Yes, you heard me right. I think some time ago on this broadcast, we shared on what I call bridging the gap. And I told you about the fact that there are seven gaps between the rich and the poor. And one of the major gaps between the rich and the poor is the mindset gap. The mindset of the rich is completely different from the mindset of the poor. A lot of people are poor because they have poor mindsets. A lot of people are rich because they have the mindset of the rich. So what are the mindsets of the rich? There are 10 things that characterizes the mindset of rich people. I've gone all over the world on different continents, and I've realized whenever you meet poor people, they think alike, they speak alike, and that's why they are the same. When you meet rich people, they always speak alike and think alike. So I'm going to be sharing with you from this same book again. These are textbook, the school of money on the 10 mindsets of the rich. So stay tuned, and I'll be back so that we can start offloading this 10 mindset. Stay tuned. If knowledge is power, then ignorance is impotence. It is the truth you know that can make you free. Call us today for any of our life-changing best-selling books written by the Common Sense Guru, Olumide Emmanuel. The School of Money, How to Make, Manage and Multiply Your Money, The Entrepreneur's Blueprint, The Pathway to Wealth, Breaking the Strongholds of Delay, the new rules of love. Singles, thou art loose. Love is not enough. 101 wisdom for singles. 101 answers for singles. Common sense is not common. Are you a fool? The power of mercy, friends and friendship. Why, Why are, are you, you not, not married? married? And, and more. more. So what are you waiting for? Call us to make your order on 0809-144-7423 or 0802-907-4588 or visit our website on olumideemmanuel.org Yes, you're welcome back. You're still on to the School of Money and I'm still Olumide Emmanuel. Well, if you look at the way things are in this world, you realize that we have different classes of people especially when it comes to social classification and even when it comes to the world of finances. We have the upper class, we have the middle class, and we have the lower class. But even when you look at these three classifications, you find out that in each of the classifications, we still have three different levels. For instance, in the upper class, we have the elite upper class, we have the middle upper class, and we have the lower upper class. So even in the upper class level, there are levels. 
And when we come to the middle class, uh, we have the upper middle class, we have the middle middle class, and we have the lower middle class. And then when you come to the lower class, we have the upper lower class, we have the middle lower class, and we have the lower lower class. So all the different social you know, classifications of human beings still have different levels. But one thing that is very, very clear is that we have the rich and we have the poor. So one of the major things that marks out the rich from all the other sets of people is their mindset, is the way they think, is the way they speak, is the way they view life, is their perception, is their worldview. And their mindset goes a long way in shaping and affecting who they become, how they become, what they become, and when they become, what they become. So I want to talk to you today, like I said before, when we on break, on the 10 mindset of the rich. So that you, listening to me right now, can begin to make the necessary adjustment. Because whatever change you want to see in your life must happen on the inside before it can happen on the outside. Any change that does not begin from within will never be a permanent change. So let's go to um, uh, one of the chapters in the book and um, look at the 10 uh, mindsets of the rich. Number one, the rich ask themselves empowering questions while others ask themselves this empowering question. Now, you see, in life, the question you ask determines the answer that you get. I know you must have heard it said before that when the student is ready, the teacher will show up. So when you ask the right kind of questions, it affects the answers you get. For instance, if you ask yourself, what can I do to become rich? That's a question that focuses on what to do to become. But if you ask yourself, why am I not rich? That's a question that focuses on why you are not what you are supposed to have become. Now, they look similar, but they are not the same. So when you are saying, what can I do to be rich? You are busy trying to be rich. However, you may have some things existing that is injuring the riches. But if you ask yourself, why am I not rich? You suddenly begin to see things from a different perspective. So when rich people think, when they ask questions, they ask themselves empowering questions. For instance, when challenges come or where there is a need, a rich man will say, oh, how can I get that done? But a poor man will say, how do you expect me to do that? Where do you want me to get the money? Where do you want me to get the... Why? They always see things from the other perspective. And that mindset goes a long way in affecting what they become. So you need to work on that. Number two, the rich focus on increasing their net worth while the others focus on increasing their paycheck. One of the uniqueness of rich people is that rich people always work for themselves. They are not salary earners. You know, salary is a form of slavery and limitation because your salary is fixed, but your income is not fixed. Now, so when you look at rich people, they don't focus on salary. They focus on income and they focus on net worth. They focus on investing for a return. And their focus is always, how can I increase my net worth? So they're always looking for business opportunities. They're always looking for problems to solve. They're always looking for where to offer value. But other side of people, poor people, ah, we need to increase our salary. We need increment in salary. Eh, what are they doing about our salary? They're always thinking salary, 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 salary. And every time you're always thinking of increasing your salary, no matter how big your salary is, if you don't have the right mindset, you will still remain at the bottom of the ladder. Number three. The rich have multiple streams of income, while others just have one or maximum two streams of income. Now, I know we've shared on this broadcast before, and if you get the book and any of our audio program, you get full details on how to activate multiple streams of income. I have come to realize that one of the major, major, major secrets of the rich is the fact that they have multiple streams of income. Sit down, do your research. You'll find out that there's no rich man anywhere in the world that has just one source of income. Most rich people have at least 3, 4, sometimes 12, 15 different sources of income that continues to bring money into their life because they are not focusing on working for money. They are focusing on money working for them. So how many sources of income do you have? Yes, think about it. How many sources of income do you have? If you have just one or maximum two, then you are not operating in the realm that you need to operate in. Because I believe that every individual have the ability to have at least four sources of income. So if you have below four sources of income, you're already operating below schedule. So the rich always focus on having multiple streams of income. They're always thinking of building new streams, increasing their streams of income. While poor people are always thinking, of, oh, well, I have, job, I have my job and I'm getting money from that other side. I'm okay with that. And that's why they do not end up becoming all that they need to become. 
Multiple streams of income is the secret to unending wealth. Multiple streams of income is the secret to the wealth that never runs dry. No, because it's where you have different streams of income, no matter how bad, no matter how terrible things are, you find out that all the different streams of income cannot be destroyed or cannot fail at the same time. And then, number four, the rich understand and believe that they must be generous while others believe they cannot afford to be generous. You see, one of the things I've come to realize is that givers never lack. And it's not a slogan, it's just the reality of life. The way life is governed, the law of generosity is a law of progress. When you are not a generous person, your possibility of progressing is very slim. And I've seen a lot of poor people, oh, I don't have money to give, I can't afford to give. Even me, I need somebody to give me. And that's why you are poor. Because you are always thinking of getting, you are not thinking of giving. When your mindset is always the mindset of getting, you will remain at the bottom. Because the hand that gives is always on top. The mind that gives is always accelerated. So the rich know that they cannot afford not to give. They know that they have to be generous. They know that their future is buried in their seed. They know that if they eat their seed, they eat in their future. But if they sow their seed, they release their future. But it's not the same for the poor. The poor always feel, I can't afford to give. I need help. No. No matter how small what you have is, when you learn the heart of generosity and you know what it means to give, you'll be amazed at how the forces of life will begin to work in your favor and bring traffic of wealth in your direction. Well, you need to understand, givers never lack. The way life is structured, life is structured in such a way that you give and you receive. When you breathe in, you breathe in oxygen. When you breathe out, you breathe out carbon dioxide. But you know what? The oxygen you breathe in is what the flowers and the plants breathe out. The carbon dioxide that you breathe out is what they breathe in. So what is your own waste product is somebody else's sustaining product. And that's the way life is. So you have to continue to give, to live. Giving is living. Now, I wanted to try and do an exercise right now. Now, I wanted to breathe in. Yeah, breathe in. In, 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 in. In, you see, you see, can you continue now? You see, you can't. So you can't continue to receive and receive and receive and receive and receive. You will die. You have to receive and then you give. You receive and then you give. That's the way it works. Well, I'm going to go on a short break right now. Once we return from the break, I'll give you the other mindset of the rich. Stay tuned. The thin line between the wealthy and the average is acquired and executed information. You can cross the line today through our wealth creation packages put together from decades of practical entrepreneurial experiences. Make your choice today from the following life-changing audio materials from the Common Sense Guru, Olumide Emmanuel. The School of Money, How to Make, Manage and Multiply Your Money. The Entrepreneur's Blueprint, The Pathway to Wealth. Becoming recession-proof, budgeting made easy, how to do business part-time and succeed, time management 101, strategies for wealth preservation, goal setting in the 21st century, debt-free, understanding money 101, retirement planning, understanding money 202, how to increase your value in the marketplace, staffing your business, activating multiple streams of income, Maximizing Opportunity Developing Investment Mentality Why Businesses Fail 7 Universal Reasons for Poverty How to Generate Business Ideas Understanding Business 101 Entrepreneurship 101 How to Raise Capital for Your Business So what are you waiting for? Call now to make your order on 0809-144-7423 or 0802-907-4588 or send us an email at overseer at gmail.com Keep your dream alive. Yes, you're welcome back. You're still on to the School of Money and I'm still Olumide Imanuel looking at the 10 mindsets of the rich. That's which makes them different from every person else on earth. Now we've looked at four mindsets of the rich. We'll look, we need to look at six more. Uh, the fifth mindset of the rich is that the rich work for profit while others work for wages. The rich always focus on working for profit while others focus on working for wages or for salary. Now listen, listen and listen well. No matter how much salary you earn, 
it will be completely and absolutely impossible for you to build through wealth, except you know how to create wealth by investing. I'm telling you. So when you say you are looking for a job, J-O-B is like an acronym for just over broke. So you are always at the edge of being broke. You are always at the edge of, you know, looking for more money and desiring more money. But when you are thinking of making profit, offering products, offering services, offering value, then you are beginning to think like rich people. When you meet with people, I've had opportunities to meet with different set of people, and sometimes they are concerned about what they need to get, how much they need to make. I say, no, 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 no. we're going to give you a commission. They say, no, I don't want commission. I want to be sure what I'm getting. I want a fixed salary. And I'm like, excuse me? If I give you a fixed salary, that means it's fixed no matter your labor. But if we do commission, that means you are thinking profit. That means you can actually make what you're supposed to make in a year, in a month. But because poor people don't think like that, they just want that security of regular income every 30 days, regular income every week. That's why many people are still at the bottom of the ladder. You need to understand that in the race of life, if you run the race like a rat, even if you win the rat race, you are still a rat. So make sure you think like the rich. To be a millionaire, think like a millionaire. Number six, while the rich continue to grow, Others think learning stopped in school. One of the mindset of the rich is continual learning. You see, personal development is very key in any aspect of life. If you ever want to be all that you need to be, you need to continue to develop yourself because life is a school where you don't ever stop learning. The day you stop learning, you start dying. The day you stop learning, you start dying. So everyone that wants to become rich must think continual learning. Think personal development. You see, rich people are always looking for ways to learn. They're always looking for opportunities to develop themselves. But when you see other set of people, they believe, oh, I've graduated, I have a certificate. Excuse me, what's your certificate? Don't you know that in the world that we live in right now, knowledge is progressive? Don't you know that what you knew yesterday may no more be working today? Don't you realize that in order for you to succeed, you have to learn, unlearn, and relearn you have to learn new things. You have to unlearn some things you have learned that are no more working. And you have to relearn some things you have learned before to upgrade and update yourself. And that's one of the mindsets that sets the rich apart from the poor. When last did you read a book from beginning to the end? When last did you attend a seminar where you developed yourself, except the ones that, that you voluntarily, not, that, not the one they sent you from the office, not the one you were compelled to go, not the one that you had to go in order for you to, no, no, I'm talking of you personally paying for a seminar or paying for a conference or going to the bookstore or going online and buying books and buying material because you wanted to develop yourself. You need to understand that in whatever area of life you want to succeed in, you must read the number of books commensurate to your age in that area. So if you're 35, you want to succeed in a relationship, you need to read at least 35 books on relationship. If you're 35, you want to succeed in finances, you need to read at least 35 books on finances. Whatever area of life you desire to succeed in, you must read the number of books commensurate to your age in that area. Number seven, the rich take calculated risk while others are afraid of taking risk. One of the things I found out in life is that risk is a key. Is when you say risky. Oh, it's very risky. Just add E between the K and the Y, and what you have is risk key. So risk is a key that gives you access into the next level of life. Yes, I'm not talking of stupid risk. I'm not talking of foolish risk. I'm talking of informed risk. I'm talking of calculated risk. I'm talking of instinctive and intuitive risk. A risk that comes from within because you are informed and you have calculated, and you are intuitive about it, and then psh, you move, and you'll be amazed. The bigger your risk, the bigger your return. Whenever you see people that are not willing to take risk, you see people that are not willing to make progress. I've seen people that decided not to take risk, and they later regretted it, because all the opportunities that came for them to move was too risky for them, and they found themselves remaining in the same place, and the world moved ahead of them. So rich people are risk takers. While others are always afraid of taking risk, and because they are afraid of taking risk, they always remain at the bottom of the ladder. Number eight, the rich embrace change while others are threatened by change. 
we have heard it said over and over again, change is the only constant thing on earth. But many people resist change. Now, you need to understand that change is not naturally easy for everyone. A lot of people know that to change takes discipline. To change takes sacrifice. To change takes adjustment. But you know the difference between the rich and the poor? They embrace it. They embrace change because they know that change is necessary. They embrace change because they know that change is important. They embrace change because they know that change is vital for them to get into that next dimension that they want to get into. But others, I'm okay the way I am. Must we change? Do we have to do it that way? Can't we continue the way we have been doing it? Ah, I'm already used to that. Doesn't mean I have to go and learn this again. Then I have to go to another school again. We have to do another. They are always on the negative, always pessimistic. And that's why they remain at the bottom of the ladder. So listen and listen well. There is so much that this world has to offer you. But you must be willing to change. Whatever change you are expecting to see in your life, you must be willing to be the change that you want to see. And that's the way it works. Number nine. Rich people talk about ideas while others talk about things and people. When you sit down with your friends and your colleagues, what do you talk about? Do you talk about people? <laughs> do you talk about things? Or do you talk about ideas? I don't know how it works in your country, but in my country, I have a group of people that we call the FRA. They are called the Free Readers Association. They go where we have the newspaper vendors, and every morning they're not going to buy, they're jobless, they stand by the newspaper vendor, either early in the morning or late in the evening, reading all the airlines, debating and discussing and arguing about what is what and what is not. At the end of the day, it doesn't make any meaningful progress. They don't make any meaningful progress. It doesn't help them to make it. Why? Because they are just there to read freely, to talk about people, to talk about things. They are not postulating ideas that will help to move things forward. The ability to identify a problem is not necessarily a high level of intelligence. It is your ability to solve the problem that makes you valuable. And that's what people pay for. So you must come to that level in your life where you are not one of such people that are going all about not willing to bring about the change that you want to see. So you need to make up your mind that you will do everything you can to join those that talk about ideas, ideas for the future, those that talk about how to make things happen, how to solve problems. When your focus is problem solving, when your focus is being an answer, when your focus is making sure that you bring solution where there is no solution, I tell you, you are already on your way to the top. So stop talking about people. Stop talking about things. Start talking about ideas. Start talking about things that can produce results. Start talking about how to solve all the problems you have seen and identified around you. And you'll be amazed at how life will be. I'm going to go on a short break when I return. I'll give you the last point and then we'll wrap it up. Stay blessed. If knowledge is power, then ignorance is impotence. It is the truth you know that can make you free. Call us today for any of our life-changing best-selling books written by the Common Sense Guru. Olumide Emmanuel. The School of Money. How to make, manage and multiply your money. The Entrepreneur's Blueprint. The Pathway to Wealth. Breaking the Strongholds of Delay. The New Rules of Love. Singles. Thou art loose. Love is not enough. 101 Wisdom for Singles. 101 Answers for Singles. Common Sense is not common. Are you a fool? The Power of Mercy. Friends and friendship. Why, Why are, are you, you not, not married? married? And, and more. more. So what are you waiting for? Call us to make your order on 0809 144 7423 or 0802 907 4588. Or visit our website on olumideemmanuel.org. Yes, you're welcome back. You're still on to the School of Money, and I'm still Olumide Emmanuel. We're about to wrap up right now. We've been looking at the 10 mindsets of the rich. I've shared with you nine of them already. And if you're just joining us, you've missed a lot. But you know what? It's free. Can go to well, the last difference between the rich and others, which is the mindset of the rich, is the fact that the rich think long term, while others think short term. Rich people always think long term. And I see this happening from... So a lot of people don't think long term. They think short term. 
rich people are not in a hurry. They think long term. They are thinking of how to build and create wealth and not how to survive. But poor people are thinking survival. What is in it for me? What can I get now? And that's why it's very difficult for them to be able to enter into that realm of wealth that they need to enter into. I hope you will change and make the necessary adjustment by the information you are getting because it's very key. I want to see you at the top and I want to hear your success story. Now, join us on all our social media platforms. Visit our website. Our books, our tapes, our CDs, all our products are available on the website www.olumideemmanuel.org or www.commonsensegroup.com Now visit all these sites and then you can get the downloadable version of all our products. You can get the MP3 version of all our audio products. It's amazing the array of products we have lined up to help you achieve your financial goal. You can follow us on social media. Join me on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter and at Olumid Emmanuel, at Olumid Emmanuel. Just search for me on Twitter. Join me on Facebook. Make sure you follow us on all our social media platforms. Let's see how we can help you. Share with us how this broadcast is helping you and make sure you visit our YouTube channel. You'll be amazed. All manner of information right there that will help you to be all that you need to be. Well, till we meet again in the next broadcast, I wanted to do what you've always done. Keep your dream alive. Because it won't be long, it will come to pass. Bye bye. School of money, where you learn how to make your money, where you learn how to multiply, where you learn how to manage your money. So, my friend, TV Network.